For this linear inequality, we have fractions. Here we have a denominator of 3, a denominator of 3, and a denominator of 2. So you don't have to, but you could actually start this problem by eliminating all the denominators. So here we've got denominators of 3 and 2, and the least common denominator is 6. So you see that when I multiply by 6, I have to make sure to multiply every term in this inequality by 6. And you don't have to, but I wrote it as 6 over 1 to just help keep, um, to help remind myself what's in the numerator versus the denominator. And what you should see is a cancellation take place for each term in this case. And then when I rewrite it for this first term, which has a Q in it, um, the denominators are gone because you see here's a denominator of 1. There is a denominator of 1, so I'm not going to bother writing the denominator anymore. But then I have the 2 times the negative 2, which I'll multiply to get negative 4. Same thing for the next term. A 1 in the denominator, 1 in the denominator, so no more denominator. And then I'll multiply the 2 times the 1. And because it was originally negative, then that's also going to be negative. And then greater than... Same thing, no more denominator in the last term. The inequality becomes negative 4q minus 2 is greater than 3q. I could go ahead and try and combine the q terms at this point. So I'm going to do that by adding 4q to both sides. And then we've got negative 2 is greater than 7q. And then I can divide both sides by 7. So it's negative 2 over 7 is greater than q. And if I want to write the q first, I can just rewrite this inequality as q is less than negative 2 over 7. This is one way to write the solution for our inequality. And now we're going to show the solution in graphical form and interval notation. Before I graph this one, I want to pay attention to the inequality symbol. So this one, we've got that q is less than negative 2 over 7. And remember that if it is, if it's either less than or greater than, we would use the parentheses. And if it was less than or equal to, greater than or equal to, then we would use a bracket. So for this example, we're going to use a parenthesis. Because the inequality states that q is less than the number negative 2 over 7, I draw the parenthesis kind of pointing in the left direction because that's where I'm going to shade. And then to write this in interval notation, you take all the key parts of your graph and then, but not actually including the graph. So the leftmost point in this case is a negative infinity comma, and then the rightmost point on our graph is the negative 2 over 7. And then if I fill it in on the infinity, it's always a parenthesis, so I'll put a parenthesis on the left. And then if I check for negative 2 over 7, that was also a parenthesis. So now we have our graphical solution as well as our interval notation solution.